my goals for October. We do not have to wait till New Year's to make ourselves better. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a monthly reset with me. It is about 9 o'clock and it is Monday, September 27th. So we have like three more days left of this month. So I want to take time for today and just plan all my October. It's going to be a really exciting month. I'm starting school. I need to find a job this month. <laughs> Last night, I wrote in my journal here. I just wrote everything that I'm planning on doing today. I gotta clean my room. I have to write my planner. My goals for October, start journaling, talk about my life, tell you guys what's going on. I'm showing you guys the books I'll be reading this month and talk about where I wanna be at the end of the month. I feel this is so important. I have a lot of long-term goals in my life, but I don't have any like short-term goals. So I wanna start making monthly goals so I can just, you know, feel better at myself and feel more just, able and happier you know i don't know how to explain that when you complete a goal you're super happy but if my goals are always like in 10 15 years i'm never going to be satisfied so i want to make some shorter goals so it's like oh well i like completed that goal first thing i'm going to do is clean my room because she is very messy i start school in a week and a half and i want my room to be really clean because i have two classes online and that's just <laughs> a lot so my room has to be neat and tidy for that so let's go clean my room later i finished cleaning my room i'll show you guys what it looks like right here is just my dresser all my clothes are in there i just have a pair of sunglasses some perfumes cameras lotion my water with my makeup mark up here photos other polaroids up there over here i have my concert posters hopefully i'll be adding more of those soon i have my nicer bags that i like and then my night table right here is just my journal another like inspo book feel your best self this is for my blanket heater which is like under my bed because it's really cold at night couple other notebooks down here all my stuffed animals is still a bit messy because i have all these bags it's literally just like full of art supplies and then my tote bags are over here and then i have my little work area kind of messy still but i have everything that i need here my cactuses the polaroid oh miss whitney that's it and then i have my closet here but it's disaster in there and that's for another day cleaning my room done that took a hot minute what time is it it took about an hour and a half to do but i was blasting coldplay and the neighborhood and i've never been happier now we're gonna start planning for this month so i'm just gonna go get my planner this is what i do all my planning in i love these ones so much um they're just like so colorful and bright and just everything and then we're gonna start journaling let me get my new journal this is what she looks like she's from indigo or chapters or whatever you guys want to call it it just has white lined pages so we're gonna start that i'm gonna write about how i'm feeling how i'm doing how i'm gonna succeed this month and it's gonna be so much fun i'm gonna start with plotting the month of october is going to be a busy one so let's just get into this i always have my highlighters because i love highlighters i think they're so pretty the first thing that i do i just flip to the month first pages is just like an overlook of the whole entire month and i've already written some things down all my four classes start the 7th 16th 18th and 24th and then i put in vancouver fashion week here because i wanted to like volunteer or be part of it or just like attend okay for the overview months i only just write like important things that i know exactly are gonna happen like school what i'm doing who i'm hanging out with i only really know the first two weeks october at the moment but if things change then i'll add them there and then the rest is really cool i'll show you guys like what else the planner has it's kind of like a little fun little Thing, you know what i mean then we have this page right here it says monthly priorities which i really like something fun something calming something important something healthy and something for me always like filling those out the very first day of the month so i'm not going to do that right now and then right here is usually where i put all of my video ideas of what i want to film and now for this week we're going to plan i like to highlight things you already know yeah so i don't really put the times or whatever because i really don't know exactly like what time and i hate like 
not being like on schedule or whatever. I just finished journaling. It feels so beautiful to start a journal for the first time. I don't think I've fully like really 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 journaled in like maybe three years. I did it all through middle school, beginning of high school, a bit at the end of high school and then I just like stopped but now that I finally have a new journal I just love starting fresh. I just wrote a page. Y'all can't read that but just about my feelings and stuff. I feel like when I was younger I used to write like about my day like I have so many like journals about like my day at school what happened the tea everything but now i just want to start focusing on like my feelings and how i can like overcome bad things and like the good things just like stuff about myself i just want to really like continue that and start that more because i've been watching so many youtube videos on journaling and how it's so good for like the soul that was my phone it just lets you be free and feel free so i am so excited to start this i want to try like once a day four times a week i don't know we'll see and then i also have this one right here but this one's not really a journal this one's just like planning like my reset routine that i'm doing in here and then i just have little, little like hacks and stuff and just like kind of bullet journaling ideas random ideas i get during the day about youtube or just like any like social media content creating stuff goes in this one i also just want to show you guys some books that i am going to start the first one is concrete rose by angie thomas it's in the same line as the hate you give but this is about her parents it's the third book i've read the first second one and I got the third one a couple months ago and I haven't started reading it yet so I'm on like chapter one but it's really good I love the way she writes her books I love how it's like you know based on like black people I think it's really cool the next one is you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life by Jen Sincero this one I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen it it's really so popular it's literally everywhere I've read a few chapters of it and it's so good it really makes you think I love books like this that really just like you know because some things you don't think of during your everyday day life and like how you think and how you process things and reading this really made me feel that like i have been thinking such like negatively and not the right way and in order for me to succeed i gotta change my thinking the last one is not really a book but it's kind of like a little workbook for like baddies <laughs> it's called feel your best it's by bando it's a workbook for personal health it has different chapters and it just makes you like think and write down things the first one here just says make a list of all the things that are really important to you so i just like wrote everything there's red is about taking action yellow is about exploration green achieving your goals blue relaxation and pink about your personal journey i've kind of just been doing this a couple times a week not every day but just like before i go to bed i'll just like write in it a bit which is really helpful and i love things that make me think i think i've already told you guys that but i love to like think about life and like all the possibilities and romanticizing literally everything maybe after i'll give you guys a little like update on how everything went but i really suck to my journaling and reading because i've been saying i want to for so long and i never actually do that's the problem of my own that i gotta fix i'm also working on my fall playlist right now i make a playlist for every single season of the year and right now it's well. I'll give you guys a little like sneak peek of what's on it. Follow me on my Spotify. It's at my Joelle. All my playlists are so cute. I love them dearly. So I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of everything that I have. Heard that she killed a man. Didn't feel a thing. Who is she? morning it is about 9 30 i got up a little bit earlier i wrote in my journal as you guys saw my five minute journal and then i watched a podcast and now i'm here i feel like getting up early has really been helping me lately be in like a happier mood i used to get up so late like 12 1 then the whole day is wasted and i feel so sad and so depressed but waking up early i have more time to do things because i'm a very slow person i find when i do things so getting up early helps me be slow and still accomplish everything that i have to we're getting to the end of this video it's obviously the next morning right now i just wanted to write down some goals that i have things that i want to accomplish things that i'm excited for so i always write them on my sticky notes and then i hang them on my wall beside my night table so i can just like you know see them every morning when i get up so i always write down things that i am excited for so what i'm excited for for 
this month. I'm excited for October because I am starting school. My wildflower case is supposed to come in the mail. That's exciting for me. Either October or November, the end October, the beginning of November, I'm getting my new phone. iPhone 13 Pro Max. I'm gonna be downtown on the weekends because of school. All right, so this is just what it looks like. And then for my next thing that I do, I always put my goals. Right now, I want to hit 4,000 subscribers. I feel like I make my goals really small. Should I put 5,000 subscribers? That's a stretch, but that's a thousand more subscribers this month. I think I can do it. Can I? I'll just do get organized for school because right beside my bed, I have all of my art supplies and school supplies that I bought like over a month ago and I haven't touched yet. So I really want to organize that. And then I want to find a job. I want four days a week. So I'll find a find a four days a week job. And then I also want to continue getting up early and then start exercising every morning, not necessarily like working out. Even in the morning, just like a 15 minute, 10 minute workout will get like your blood flowing and you'll be happier. So I'm gonna do start working out as well or exercising in the morning. All right, so I have this goal too. I'm gonna put those on my wall. And then yeah, so this is pretty much the end of the video. I'm really excited for this month. I get my new phone, hopefully the end of the month I'm praying because I really want it for concerts and like events and my next concert is in November. Jack Harlow. I'm literally so excited. I don't think anyone understands how excited I am. Like. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this motivated you guys to start planning for your future months ahead and just being more positive. We do not have to wait till New Year's to make ourselves better. So thank you guys and I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.